We're on adventure number five, the underwater quest. This is Maria. Maria's at the beach and she sees a turtle go into the water. Maria wants to visit the turtle under the water. Can you think about what type of machine she's gonna need if she wants to go under the water to visit a turtle? It's a submarine. A submarine is a vehicle that can travel underwater. We are going to build a submarine. Maria can use it to visit the turtle. Gather up your Legos and let's build. The first thing we need for our build is gonna be the big square platform. And on top of that, we're gonna use the yellow structures to build up. And in between them, we're gonna put a blue smooth piece. Looks about right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, excellent. And then the blue smooth piece goes at the very edge. Next up, two yellow bricks to complete our base. And then the other two pylons to complete our structure. Then we're gonna build the top of our structure using two blue beams and connecting across and holding it all together will be two, two green smooth beams. Now we're ready for our hub, which you'll remember the hub is the brains of our robot. This is what allows our motors to move, what stores all the energy in the battery, and talks to our computer so that we can make a program and send it to our Legos. So we'll put the four green connector pieces in and then set our hub on top with the ports facing the right. Now we're ready to build an arm to attach our submarine. And we just use one of our purple 11 brick long beams and then put an axle to Technic piece in. And put this little piece on the end, which is gonna allow our submarine to attach to it. And then two Technic connector pieces in the top, leaving one hole gap. And these are gonna go on the opposite end, kind of like that. All right, next up, we're ready to attach a motor. And our motor looks like this. I like to align the holes in the top. And our motor will just attach just like that with those Technic pieces. And it's ready to go. All right, in the back of our motor, we're gonna attach two black Technic pieces. And then this is going to attach directly into our hub. Adjust this camera real quick so that you can see that. Perfect. And it's gonna go into the middle two holes on the side of our hub, just like that. All right, now for some accessories. We are at the beach, because Maria is following that crab, and we are going to put in, or following a turtle, we're gonna put in a crab and some seaweed, just so it's obvious that our story is taking place on the beach, and that'd be called the setting. Now it's time to push this out of the way, and we're gonna start working on the actual submarine. We start with a single green brick, and then we'll add a couple of purple pieces. And on top of those, a few yellow pieces that have the axle hole inside of them. Next up is going to be a yellow, no, not yellow, red axle with one of these white attachments on top and then a black Technic piece. And this will go directly inside the very first hole on our submarine. And this piece is gonna allow our submarine to attach to our motor. Next up, we need a propeller some way for this to go. And we're gonna use the blue clear piece, a tiny red axle, 
and what looks like a plant, but it also looks like an axle or a propeller. And the propeller is something that spins and allows the submarine to drive. Let's plug that straight into the yellow piece in the back. And our submarine is starting to come together. We'll need one more tiny axle piece for the front, and it'll just go into the other side. We'll hold it still. And now our submarine is ready for Maria. Here's Maria. She's not the happiest since she doesn't have her hair yet. Now that she has some hair, she's ready to go into our submarine. Finally, we'll attach our submarine onto our bot and we'll plug our cord into port A. That way when we're making our program, everything will work correctly. So here is our submarine with Maria on it, ready to go explore the ocean and try to find that turtle. Now it's time to code our bot. Here's the challenge. We're gonna make this program and it moves the submarine. We'll start by connecting our hub and using the web app, we just click that button. We push the button on our hub one time and it'll start to flash. We say, open the connection window and I see my hub right there and I can click pair. The light will turn solid and then blue and then I can say back to project and I'm ready to go. Here at the very beginning, it shows me what code to use. All of our programs with Lego Spike have to start with some sort of control. For this one, we want the play button. And that just means when you push play, do the following code. And so when we push play, we want to turn the motor a half turn, we want to play a sound, and then we want to start repeating. This newest brick that we put up here is called a loop. And this is a loop that repeats a certain number of times. In this case, it's three. And then we want it to loop and go the other way three times. And then we'll put a forward, and then that way, our program will first turn, then splash, then it'll go back and forth three times. Now, if Maria's on the beach, she should be up here, out of the water. And let's hit play and see what happens. Excellent. We've created a program that tells Maria to splash into the ocean and then go back and forth looking for that sea turtle. Now a great thing to do would be to add some accessories to Maria and make that submarine look just a little bit different. And in our next video, we'll pose a challenge to see what would happen if the turtle swam behind the structure. Because right now Maria is just going up and down in the water here. Can we come up with a way to have her go all the way around the structure? One challenge we like to give kids here at Spratronics Learning Lab is to figure out how to have Maria circle the platform rather than just go up and down in it. So one way to think of this is how could we turn this motor so that Maria is circling around the platform? Right now, the motor is just gonna make her go up and down. But if we take this motor off and try to think of a way where we can make her go all the way around it, we might be in luck. So we'll take Maria off, take these pieces out, and we're going to attach our motor to the top of our platform. And that looks pretty good right up there. But now we need to figure out how to keep Maria inside the submarine. And that might mean adding just another beam to go down. And so what we'll do find a slightly longer beam and plug Maria into the top. And then the 
and see, will this work? Will it be long enough to go all the way around? Yeah, that should work. So just like we attached our purple beam, we can use two of these black Technic attachment pieces, attach her to the motor, and we can just turn the motor with our hand and see if she makes it all the way around. There we go. So let's try our same program again using our loop and see if Maria circles the platform rather than just going up and down. And if we wanted to make a change to our program so that she goes all the way around, we could change this to say one rotation rather than 0.25 rotations. And that should allow Maria to circle the whole platform. What would you do differently to allow Maria to go deeper down into the water, closer to the bottom of the ocean?